Hey crowd, Rob is in the building. Well, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna try to do this little segment month to month. I'm gonna try to get you my top tens of every month. Obviously Thanksgiving passed, so I couldn't do a top 10 movies of Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna give you something more special since it was my kids' birthdays. And since they're twins, I'm gonna give you a top 10 twin movie special. Now, I wanna make more of a the twins are actually like the main characters, not the side characters. So let's get to this. And like I said, I will try to get you once every month, you know, like next month in December. That could be for a holiday, which is Christmas. What's your favorite Christmas movie and all that? But you know, when I was browsing, when I was searching, when I was doing everything, I noticed that there's not a lot of twin movies and there's not a lot of great ones either. Now, before I do get into my top 10, I will explain why they're in my top. I know that some people are going to kill me. I know some people are going to hate me for this. Honorable mention number one. Because I've heard it's really good. I haven't seen it though. Adaptation. It's an honorable mention. Leaves on Grass. Or something like that with Edward Norton. That's also, I heard it's a good movie about twins. I haven't seen it. And of course, this one goes to a big honorable mention. The Parent Trap, the original and the one with Lindsay Lohan. I have not seen them, but that's like the one to watch, I guess. I don't know, but like I said, I haven't seen it. So I am sorry it does get that honorable mention because they are good movies. And who knows, maybe in there is someone else's list, not on mine. Let's get to it. My number 10. <sighs> it's a crappy movie. I have to put it because of the sex minutes that it has before and after. The movie itself is shitty. I didn't like it. Some people did. I like some scenes with a special Mexican character, but the movie is Jack and Jill. Yes, I know it's a piece of shit movie. It's a dog shit. It was probably the worst movie for anybody, but for me, there are some scenes that I liked it, and there's just some messy crap. But I do put it there because, like I said, I love those special segments and some punny parts of the movie. Don't massacre me. Don't kill me. Number nueve, number nine. This one's more of a guilty pleasure. I did like it, however, because again, it's a guilty pleasure. Don't murder me. This is one of the first movies that he did, but it was The Rock and Sean William Scott, not The Rundown, but Southland Tales. You had a great deal record who did Donnie Darker. You had The Rock who was upcoming. You had Sean William Scott who was funny. You got Justin Timberlake. You got Michelle Gellar. And I don't know who the other girl was. But this was to be a good movie which was shitty. Get drunk to watch this movie. But the main character as you think it's The Rock. But in reality it is Sean William Scott and he's the twin. It's a whole concept that is like more like a into the future thing. Uh, regarding religion I mean it's not that much you wouldn't think it's religion until you actually start seeing you're like oh okay but check it out only if you're buzzing it but I do recommend it if you watch it you want to see some twins on action <laughs> now like I said these it's not the greatest top 10 list because even those movies are shitty the next one's just more because I was a little kid my number eight right it takes two it's almost like the Parent Trap movie, but I actually saw this one and I did enjoy it when I was little. I haven't seen it now that I'm older. I mean, it's basically the same concept. They switch sides, they make her dad fall in love with the with the foster mom. Blah, 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 etc, etc, etc. It's a good movie. I liked it. Maybe if I see it right now, I won't. But come on. I was a little kid with the hots for Mary Kate and Ashley. Now, for seven, I actually like this one. Like more like a guilty pleasure again it got a bad reviews Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters now and with Jeremy Renner and I don't know who the chick is but I really liked it I mean I, I love the action I love that it was rated R they were going at it it was a good movie I mean you can't go wrong with with bloody scenes with well, I mean I know a lot of people don't like that but when you put a good in action and then you put in an A-list actor or a B-lister a high B-lister you do get some good, great scenes in there. I mean, it just came out. If you guys want to catch some witches, some hunting, some Reddit art, some good action scenes, do check out Hansel and Gretel. My number six It's probably... How should I explain it? 
It's not for everybody, but it is funny. Do check it out. Number six is Stuck on You with Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear. That movie's funny. They play those, uh, what's it called? Siamese twins or something like that, where they're just basically stuck to each other. And the movie is funny. Do check it out. There is some scenes, but the comedy is legit. And it's one of those few Matt Damon movies where I actually like, and I like how he acted in there. And like I said, it is a good movie. It is a solid movie. That's We're getting to the better ones. And of course, with number five, everybody knows this special twins. Everybody loves them. The reason I put it so not so high up in the list and not so low in the list because I can't put it low because it is a saga. And I can't put it high because I really don't love the saga, but I do respect what it is. And it is Star Wars. Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. They're the twins from the movie. Luke being the main character, Princess Leia being one of the main characters. And it is a top notch movie, or well, series, saga, whatever you want to call it. Everybody loves it. I can't put much interjection. If you don't like the original, you're not going to like probably the, the prequels. Maybe the new ones. I mean, I am fan of the newer ones. But the prequels, they put me to sleep. I mean, the prequels are shitty. The originals put me to sleep. The Rogue One and The Force Awakens were good and I liked them. And The Last Jedi, I will see it, but just not like, oh, I'm not crazy about it. I don't, I don't see the hype, but that's me. Everybody has their own opinions. Number four. We're getting into the 80s, 90s action with one of the best martial artists at that time. Jean-Claude Van Damme, a double impact. Now that movie is kick-ass. The, basically the plot is they take one of the babies, they kidnap them, the other one gets taken away. Then they meet when they're older and they're like, oh look, we're twins, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's Jean-Claude Van Damme being Jean-Claude Van Damme. One more good guy, one more of a douchebag asshole. Do watch it. A lot of action. Special 80s, 90s, cheesy action. Late 80s, early 90s. And if you like those kind of movies, do check it out. Double Impact is my number four. And people, here comes my number three. I really do love this movie. I wish it could be higher. It's just that there's two movies better than this one. But I gotta give it props to Twin Dragons with Jackie Chan. That's probably one of my favorite when it comes to identical twins. That movie is the number one out of all of them. I gave you a special hint for what's my number one and number two. But Twin Dragons basically is the same thing. As the other one, as Double Impact, they take out the babies when they're younger. One becomes a musician, one becomes a badass martial artist. They meet up and then they start having like, they start sharing their special qualities when they're together. But when they're separated, of course, everybody acts differently. But the movie is hilarious. The movie has great action and the movie is great. Do check it out. Twin Dragons with Jackie Chan. My number two. Yes, you're going to be shocked that this is number two. Twins. Really? Like, really? Mm hmm. Yes. Now, this movie puts the definition on twins about one being grumpy, one being happy. I have twins, and I do see that. However, it is just comedy, straight up comedy. Arnold brings it, Danny DeVito brings it, and I for rest in peace, the director. I keep forgetting your name when you slip my lips, but that guy brings her A game, and when everybody brings their A game, is just a great movie now that's what i love about arnold that he can do action he can do comedy and sometimes he can do drama but in this he did bring his comedy a game and he's really great at it check it out basically the twins again meet up when they're older and one's uh, more like a because of a science experiment or something that's why one's more shorter and grumpier the other one's very like ho 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 i'm very tough and all i'm very strong the movie is funny, so do check it out. You're looking into those 80s, 90s movies. Again, with that type of comedy. But, like I said, check it out. It's the same director that brought you Jr. It's the same director that brought you Ghostbusters. That director with Arnold and Danny DeVito. You cannot go wrong. I heard they're doing triplets with Eddie Murphy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But my number one. What do you think it is if it's twins not number one? My number one is one of my favorite action thriller movies. More like gangster movies, whatever you want to call it. It is The Boondock Saints. 
Yes, with Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery, I believe it is. That is probably the one of overall one of my favorite movies, at least top twenty in there. I do love this movie. The sequel, the sequel was shitty. It should have been in the list, but I just didn't want to put it right there. I mean, I wanted to put other movies, but it does get an honorable mention. But the Boondock Saints is basically these twins from either I forgot if it was Ireland or Scotland. We're in the New York, Chicago, on the East Coast, basically, and they get like a redemption. They get like baptized by water or something, and then they just wake up to decide to kill mafia members. And from there is just this story that goes along with these guys silencers, and guns. Willem Dafoe's in there. He's freaking great. If you guys like Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead, he's in here when he was younger, and Sean Patrick Flannery, of course, is great too. Do check out that movie. Come on. If you heard about classic movies, you have to see The Boondog Saints. A great movie. Highly recommended by me. And of course, that is my top twin movies. My top 10 twin movies of all time. Even though my last three were kind of shitty. Because there's not a lot of twin movies. But you do have it there. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my top 10? Do you guys like at least my top 5? <laughs> but do comment, do like, do subscribe. You guys have a great one. Swap!